All right, we should be live for the High Kings Fireside Chat. I finally updated the uh, Twitch name of the stream and also the background thing. So, yeah. I'm hoping I'm streaming to the right account. I am waiting on it to... Here we go. Okay, I am. Good. Wanted to wait for the <laughs> delay to make sure it wasn't like streaming to EIQ or, or something like that. Anyway, yes, we are live. So I have like a bit of an agenda I actually wrote down here. Um, I tried to be kind of generous because these always seem to go short. I feel like the standards just be like half an hour at this point because it seems like really hard to go much more than that. We've been able to do 45 minutes every time and that was with like a lot of me repeating myself or going like, uh, anybody have anything? That kind of thing. <laughs> so, but... Yeah, my thing is, I'll, just, I'll go through this, and if any of you guys have anything, or anybody watching Twitch chat, or in the Mead Hall and Discord, anything, message me. Any modes of communication, let me know if you have anything relevant to these, or if you have any questions or anything, then we'll go into, like, kind of free at the end, or if, like, anybody has extra things to bring up, but... Yeah, so let's see, uh, first thing what I have here, uh, Saga of the Stone Stars, so kind of a big story I've been working on for a pretty long time since, uh, I don't even know, at least a year, maybe longer. And there was like a huge gap where I just didn't write anything. And I finally finished it. I just like, bam, got done all the chapters. Within, I think about a week I wrote the last four. Which I think you just have to do when you're writing because if you like do like one a month, it's just weird. But if you like start writing, you kind of like get in the zone and then it just like works. And then, um... Yeah, check out the Codex Spire channel towards the bottom of the server under Cypher. That has all of the stuff Solid Storm writing. He's been adding stuff to that pretty recently. And um, let's see what else. Oh, uh, Forgotten Lands in their story. Probably people have read that already, but I also added that. That was like a week or two ago. Um, but since I finished the Saga of the Stone Stars, we're going to, or I'm going to, start working on the RPG again, because now the story is, like, the storylines meet, so, like, you know, what's happening, why the setting is what it is at the start of the RPG, so, yeah, I gotta work on that, so it's gonna take a while, uh, I don't really want to give a timeline and then, like, not meet it, be a letdown, but... It's going to take a while to get all the skills written for all the classes. But once that's done, it'll be in pretty close to done, I think. So, yeah. But I will be working on it, and I'll be posting uh, everything in the RPG channel, so you should be able to see where I'm at and, like, how fast it's getting made. And again, like, anybody that has any suggestions, ideas, or contributions, or anything to the RPG, feel free to message me or post in Meat Hall and ping me or anything like that. Um, a lot of the stuff I've added has been people messaging me saying things like, um, oh, what was it? Well, Deltrice slash Fight Bonnie wanted a bard class, and I thought, okay, I'll do that. Added that. Um, I think it was Rakir who wanted Rakir or not. I cannot remember who wanted, um, the fourth assassin class. But, but anyway, yeah, the point is that, uh, suggestions welcome, and they usually get implemented. Can I guarantee I will say yes to everything? But, yeah. Um, with that... Oh, yeah, so I want to shout out... Do have a game night this Saturday at 8 EST. Uh, Ulf, do you know what the game is? I've been up in the air of a couple choices. I'm thinking we might do a like competitive uh, IO night. Like, Agario, Snake IO, all that shit. Cool. Because we can do private servers for it. Oh, okay. Cool. Okay. Um. So yeah. Now you have to decide soon. Like, there's only like two days left for it. I've also received some other suggestions, such as Alien Swarm Reactive Drop, and mm. others from other people. So we'll look at those down the road as well. I played that one. It's pretty fun. Although, it got a little toxic because of the friendly fire. <laughs> that was the best part. It, it was... It, 
It was it, like the best and the worst part. <laughs> the flamethrower just standing in front of people, like mowing them down. They, and then you get this chart at the end of the game that lists how much friendly fire everybody did. <laughs> Whew. But anyway, yeah. So check out Game Night this Saturday night, 8 p.m. Eastern Time. Um, saluting was another thing, so I think that us officers included kind of forgot about this rule that we had put in the handbook a while ago. I but, did not. Okay, everybody would have forgot. Um, <laughs> <laughs> but anyway, I put it in announcements, but yeah, we do have a rule where if you're in a WA pre-made, so with like other WA members, you should, should salute an all chat at the end of the game. Like either when Nexus blows up or in the post-game lobby. So, yeah, just a reminder about that. I think it's just a habit thing, because like, I know personally I've been missing it a lot, mostly because my habit is at the end of the game I don't really say much, because I try to avoid talking throughout the game at all. Like, Same, yeah. It just it avoids toxicity. So it's just a habit thing on my end. I know I'll, I've been missing it, but I'll try to do it more often. Yeah, I, I was saying in the all thing the other day I was surprised i i got into a game with a couple of the new smite recruits and after game they saluted without me ever really telling them to besides like having them read the handbook Oof. and promote them yeah i was <laughs> i was pretty surprised yeah i mean it's like i think we talked about it a lot when i think believe it was so light who came up with it or so light and fold something like that um and i do kind of like it because I like saluting as like a WA tradition, but I think when we were trying to do it on Discord, like at least as a requirement, like I don't know, it didn't really make much sense. I think uh, I like tried to push it, but in the end, it was like, eh, I don't think it was actually a good idea. But I do kind of like it this because it like, I mean, it gives us something to do. It lets people like feel like they're participating in this like super long tradition, which is kind of cool. And like maybe people ask what it means, and you get like a recruit or some interest that way. I don't know how often. That happens, but I don't know. It seems like a cool thing to be. People have asked me in uh, in games before, uh, like our post game lobbies. What does star s star mean? People have asked about it. They haven't expressed much. Screw interest you. After. They haven't. <laughs> I I've gotten mostly people mocking us by. Like doing star a different letter star. <laughs> I have seen that a lot. I find I, that makes me laugh. Then there's the yeah. good old classic. Does WA mean you guys are all from Washington? <laughs> Nobody knows how to hover over somebody's portrait and ta press tab and see what the club's name is. Nobody understands how to do that. Literally opposite side of the country, but thank you. <laughs> but yeah, I think. Yeah, that's all I have for saluting. Um, oh, images and meat hall. So it's totally back to what it always was. Uh, I was kind of trying because, like, we had a little bit of image spam in the meat hall where somebody would post the same image like 20 times. So we were like, I had uh, some idea was brought up in the all thing. Try that. No images, but I think, yeah, I don't know. I was kind of, everyone was kind of uh, uh, talking about it and. I agree upon thought that, that I don't think that's a good rule either. But uh, the rule still sa it says in the handbook that spam is not for the meat hall. That should be for Ganunga Gap. So if you're spamming the same image like 30 times, you can do that in Ganunga Gap. Um, yeah. So that's a one day rule. If, if it was one day later, it could have been April Fools. It would have been perfect. We could have played it off like totally fine. But. Um, oh, so, yeah, like, what Full just said about, uh, saluting for the smite guys is, um, it also says in the rulebook we should try to implement the salute rule in, like, other games, I think would be cool. I don't know, I don't think there's any other games I've played that I could find, like, a good way to do it, but... Isn't it in the handbook, at, if it's not on League, it's meant to be at the post-game lobby in other games? Like, is that not what it was? No, that no, that that the whole rule is just for league, and then it just says at the end, if you're um, for other non-league games, you should look. We should try to salute in some form as well. To carry on the tradition. 
is what it says in the rule book. So wait, so that seems silly then. Yep, saluting. No, what but are you talking about? it's like it sounds from what I heard, just heard you say, it sounds like in League it's a rule everywhere else, and eh, if you want. Well, because we don't have like like we don't have any other set saluting um, like like protocols for other games like in league like I know how it works and I wrote the rulebook so I said okay do it in post game lobby but for other games we play first of all there's a lot of games that not that many people play and I don't really know how some of these games work like Warframe Smite I mean some games it's just not really feasible like I would say Guild Wars 2 it it's not really feasible like yeah, we, we can kind of try saluting when we join guild chat, but it's kind of irrelevant because nobody is on guild wars 2 except me anyway but um yeah i mean if if uh, any officers have like specific ideas for what we can make rules for having to salute on warframe or something like that i'm open to that but yeah i mean league of legends kind of remains our main game so that's why there's specific rules on saluting for league and not for the other games, but... Yes, Manigoti does play Guild Wars 2, he was just talking to me about it. But he's not in our guild, so I'm pretty sure he's a pro, and our guild is like me and a couple of AFK, well, AFK, like, inactive people. But I believe I saw Soul Light log on like two weeks ago, but... Anyway, yeah, yeah, that's kind of the thing, is that we don't have any other specific rules on how to salute. In other games? Yeah. yeah, like, Warframe, I guess you could do it, like, when you join the chat, like, the same way, I guess, you would with Guild Wars, or, like, maybe, like, at the end of a dungeon or something, like, salute to your teammates. It, I mean, the game's mostly, like, co-op, not, like fighting other people so you get in like a dungeon with four people and then just finish the dungeon and <laughs> well anyways if if anybody has like yeah like specific ideas or wants to like test drive stuff of like oh how can I mean, we salute in this game then we can actually add that to the handbook but right now okay. it's sort of like in the exploratory phase where we're looking at how to salute in other games and I'm also like you know acknowledging the fact that some games you just like can't really salute, you know? Can't you just salute at the beginning of said dungeons in Warframe? Is that not feasible? Yes, or the end. There's like a sh short lobby after, as I said. But from what it sounds like, that's completely impossible. What? No, what? it's totally possible. What? <laughs> Why not just have the rule of, like, salute at the post-game lobbies? Seems, like, just so much easier, and seems like it could apply to, like, many games. It wouldn't apply to every game, though, I mean... Like... Every game in existence? No. But any game that we play on that's multiplayer? Should. Okay, well, we can look at adding that, uh, in the future, but... Anyway... Seems to make more sense to me as a, a fluid rule based on game. Yeah, I mean, like that's kind of my thinking is that because a lot of games are like different, um, that like it should be like like it says in the handbook, it says sort of replicate this if at all possible in every other game, which I don't know. I think kind of covers it fairly well. Okay. Let's see, other than that, um, roll calls. Roll call was posted on Tuesday. The first roll call ended, so roll call two is posted Tuesday. So that will be due on, uh, let's see, deadline will be the 16th, Monday. So tons of people have been posting already. So uh, nice to have guys on that, but you have till the 16th to post. Um, let's see. Other than that, um, 
I have Smite and the Wolflings now, and I know because I was talking to Full, and he was kind of looking at the forums and looking all the old uh, Wolfling family from House Commander, how a bunch of them are recruited on Smite. And actually, Ulf, like a number of Ulfs recruits with some Lightlings there as well. So, just kind of interesting that we're, um, I don't know, full if that's just like a, a Google Doc or something you have that you're making with like all the commander lineage, but. Yeah, it's the same one that like Solite made years ago for the Natling one, and I just added a separate thing on for like commander and also Kilroy. Kilroy is not complete, but I think Commander is mostly done with, like, all the info that we have. Cool, cool. Well, I'm always excited about that kind of stuff. All the old lineage history stuff. <laughs> it's it's mostly, like, small, small lines, and then you scroll down a little, and you see Vigil, and... His line of recruits just goes way down. You have to scroll down a bunch to see all of it. Uh oh, yeah. Well, some lineage digging being done there. Um, let's see, what else do I have? Chronicles of Illyria. I know there is some crafting thing. Perhaps Soul Light or Fold or somebody. Can't elaborate on that, but it's a shout out if you're interested in MMOs or COE specifically. I gather some new stuff is out there, and uh, it definitely looks like something that could be really cool for the WA. Um, I'm definitely kind of interested in it. I think I will probably not get it till it comes out. I think, even though I might regret it a little bit, <laughs> I think that's my my personal approach right now. But I'm definitely keeping up with it a little bit. It looks kind of cool, but yeah. So, yeah, shout out to that. Um, D and D. There's two D and D groups being organized right now. Um, this is not a WA RPG. That's going to be like a, its own game, not Dungeons and Dragons. And it's going to be played on Discord, in text chat, in their RPG channel. But it's still in like the early, early-ish stages of development. It's going to take a while to make. But we have two groups, one being run by Skullrust and one being run by Soldor. And Skullrust is actually going to be set in like the WA universe with like the lore and all of our stories and all that stuff. So that should be really cool. Um, not sure when that one's going to start. Um, I gather not for a little while. Um, and then the other one, Soldor, is just um, in a world that she is making, but that is another WA D&D group. Looking for people, I believe that she's not going to start that for, I want to say three months or a little bit less, she had mentioned. So, yeah. So, these are a little ways off, but if you're interested in D&D, there are two groups open. Um, let's see what else. Um, I guess quick welcome to all the new recruits that we have gotten lately. Still seeing some new people pop in is really cool. Or seeing people that have hung around for a while officially joining, so that's really fun. Welcome to WA. Hope you like it. Um, nice job to everybody on the recruiting. Doing that. Um, other than that, I'm kind of ripping through all this. Uh, I only have one item left. Which was something we talked about in the all thing a little bit, but possibly looking at removing, lowering the number of channels, whether that be removing some voice or text channels or combining them. We talked about that a little bit. I don't know. Anybody have any thoughts on that? I have to scroll for three hours, so I'm yeah, totally in agreement. I, I think we got a, a lot of channels. <laughs> Do. A lot of them seem, I mean, like, I don't know, I think we can definitely do something. Like, I think combining introductions and LOAs, we can definitely do that. Um, I think you mentioned combining calendar announcements. I do kind of like having the calendar as its own channel. I, just, I, I, I could pin it in announcements, but I really like that being, like, so easy to navigate to, I guess. I don't know. Um, voice channels is something I'm not sure. It seems like... Because in total, we have what? One, two, three, four, nine, like, 17 voice channels. So 
We definitely only need like half of that at most. I know, like what voice channels do you think we could we could lose? I know, we, we've talked about it and like the halls are what's basically the, the vast majority of what's used, but I don't know, I think if we want to promote like war bands having their own identities and stuff and great companies, then we shouldn't get rid of channels individually for them. Yeah, I feel like they get used a little bit. I definitely see some people in them sometimes. They're hidden as well for most people, it's not really a problem. Okay. Well, we can look at getting rid of the Iron Yar channels, I suppose. Um, so like mentioned, getting rid. I mean, we could probably get rid of food or music and just go with Mead Hog or Ganunga Gap for that, couldn't we? Yeah, I I think I said like. I I, I think I included Weebs when in my suggestion of removing those and just having Ganunga Gap for Oof, that. That's gonna. Russell some Jimmy's. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. yeah shake some Johnsons. <laughs> um. Well, I don't know. The only thing, yeah, it's like someone get rid of. Weeps has a lot of history, though. It does. Can look through. I mean, uh, I can copy all the channel contents if we get rid of any save them for posterity I, I was just reading an argument between Yarnvir and Numenor about <laughs> underage sex hmm. must Very have been enlightening well we can definitely look at that I mean uh I don't know. I don't know what else we could do. Do we honestly really plan on using the law rock? Oh, yeah, that was... I forgot that that was a thing that Fulton mentioned. Yeah, like... I like the idea of it, but I think... I, I the fireside chat, it's kind of redundant. Yeah, like, I think... It made sense with our previous all thing, because our previous all thing, we it was, like, arguing a lot. And we didn't agree on anything. Like... Any issue that was raised, it was like somebody was super gung ho against it. Somebody was super for it. So like the idea was, okay, let's have a law rock so we can be transparent about what we're arguing and like make it more organized so people just post their own views and whatnot. But I think the way it's been going, yeah, like like you said, we've got the all thing where we talk and it, it hasn't been that spammy. I don't think like at least compared to how it used to be. And then we've got fireside chat where we kind of go over everything. Um. Oh, Eric and Shaw asked why we're trying to cut channels down. I think because the feeling was that we have too many, basically. I mean, uh, I, what, my goal in making like this list of channels was to replace the forums. Not like that we would get rid of the forums, but that all the purposes the forums served in like the third fleet try to like have discord fulfill all those so posting roll calls posting recruits intros and LOAs that kind of thing but at the same time like it is a lot to scroll through and if it's possible to make it a little bit more clean I think not a bad idea um but yeah, I mean, you can definitely look at removing some of those. Um, other than the Law Rock, I don't know, everything in Cypher I pretty much like. That was a pretty specific purpose, I think. Um, yeah. Well, I mean, that would, that would remove, what, like 10 or so? That'd be pretty good. A step in the right direction. Hmm. Why, uh, why is uh, the RPG channel down in Cypher instead of up, like, probably near D&D &D or something? 
Um, I put it down here because it was like role playing and lore based, which is kind of like like how Codex Spire is here and, and Uga is here and all that stuff. That's kind of what I was putting in a cipher. It's anything lore or document report based, that kind of thing. Well, isn't the RPG like it doesn't have to have anything to do with like UWA character or anything like that? What? What do you mean? Like, it, it's not like uh, lore based or anything, is it? Well, it's set in the WA world and everything. Ah, yeah. Alright, alright. <laughs> Yeah, I mean, it's like, like yeah, people are making characters, so it's not like you're, like, RPing as yourself, I guess, but... I don't know, I, I thought it made sense there. I, I definitely, I suppose putting D&D &D up in uh, Vigilant then sort of makes it like, oh, okay, where should this go, but... I think, um... I put that there thinking, like, oh, this is D just regular D&D, &D, but Skull Wars is running it in the, D in the WA world, so, yeah, it's sort of... Up in the air, where that would go, I guess, but should be okay. Yeah. Um, that was kind of my last item. Um, I'll like double check here. Um, o oath of the warrior. Did we mention that? I don't think so. So yeah. basically, everybody has Scarl and up is supposed to take an oath. It's kind of a fun RP thing. So because you're you're kind of becoming an technically to be an officer you have to be thinner or above, but you're, you're like Huskarl and above. You get access to the all thing. You're officially leading things, so it's sort of a big uh, threshold that you're crossing there. So yeah, we're thinking that everybody, um, not just Ulf the new Huskarl, but everybody folds so light. All the officers would take it. So. Might do that in Obsidian Hall, maybe tonight, possibly. Seems like everybody's here. So that'd be cool. Um, but yeah. Other than that, um, I guess I can look at the calendar. See if we got anything. To give a shout out to. Uh, let's see. I already mentioned game night. Um, Party Brawl, Party Brawl Six. Um, that's in announcements too, but that is. Uh, Friday, Saturday, Sunday, the 13th, the 14th, and 15th, all at 3.30 Pacific, and that's uh, on the Party People server. All the links should be in announcements, but yeah. Other than that, um, we do have the Icier 5v5 coming up on the 22nd as well, so it's a WA tournament here hosted by us. So that'll be fun. Uh, other than that, uh, not too much going on beyond just make sure you check in there. You can see when the roll calls are. Um, if I said chats, always, always going to have those these days. Thursdays at 8 p.m. Eastern. Sit reps will be due on the 11th, the second round of sit reps. And we'll have that board review, the second board review on the 10th. So if you are looking to get promoted, it would happen on April 10th. Uh, I'm in. That's about all I have written down here that I could think of. If any of you guys have anything you want to talk about, announcements to make, anything like that. Why is Kuziag not here? I don't know. No, because he's up playing Crusader Kings 2 with those guys, that's why. He's doing good work. The lazy scald. <laughs> Okay, we've we've uh, answered the mystery of the missing scald. Anything else? Oh yeah, announcement. Get CK two while it's free. Oh yeah. Do not have CK two. Crusader Kings two is free on Steam right now. Grab it. Even if you don't think you're gonna play it, I feel like it's one. I got it a long time ago actually because one of my friends told me to get it, and I think it. I thought, eh, this doesn't really look like something I'd like, but I actually ended up playing it a ton. I haven't played it in a while now, but I definitely had a lot of good times on it. It might still, I might still reinstall it one day, so, and it's free, so why not? You don't even have to install it. You just add it to your library. Bam. 
Dang. Wait, isn't it only free for two days? No, it's an actual free version. Like, it's not the free weekend thing. It's an actual, like, free one for two days. Yeah, that's what I mean. It's right, free Cause, it's as uh, if you bought it, but you didn't pay any money. Yeah, because I remember uh, one time I had a talk with someone where I said it was free for the next two days, and then they, they thought it was one of those free weekends where it's only free for those two days, and then after those two days, it's not free anymore. Like you gotta like pay money to to keep playing it. Never mind. Yes, we're overcomplicating it. It's free. Add it to your library, have it. You'll have it forever. Um, oh, Captain uh, and uh, Galmir both mentioned in Twitch chat that having the categories means that scrolling is not a huge deal on the channels. I do think that is a fair point on the subjects, kind of jumping back to uh, removing some channels. I don't know. You guys have a counterpoint to that or thoughts on it? That categories you can just minimize things. Uh, All right, I put together a comprehensive guide on how to get it for free. <laughs> <laughs> click the link exactly. and click add. <laughs> oh no, you'll see. I I went into the uh, uh, slash r slash ck2 discord to you know see if they were talking about the free weekend they're like got a bunch of new people in there i just see someone like joined and like linked to the steam star and was like oh my god guys ck2 is free right now and they're just like everyone in this sub uh, everyone in the sub already has it idiot why are you linking me <laughs> just insult them there if anyone wants to view it my comprehensive guide is in fact in the meat hall All questions answered. Wiki how how to get CK2 for free. Step one. Uh well. We've done that. How are they supposed to know what this is ex instructions for? You didn't even tell them. <laughs> You're right. Instructions unclear. Right, let me go. Let me go make instructions. I interpret my instructions. <laughs> <laughs> Please do. Uh, I don't know. We're at thirty-two minutes. I guess the new standard is is shrinking every week. Now half hour is the norm. The norm. Uh, sometimes I mean, they'll probably be longer. Sometimes shorter. Yeah, it's definitely. I mean, this is like a week where we didn't have any sit reps to go over or anything, but. Although we had sit reps last week and we didn't really go over them because like everything was announced basically already, but and the urls didn't show up. We were definitely here. Yeah, but you showed up like the last thirty minutes of it, which was weird because Vess was already done talking. Anyways, <laughs> I think it's normal that these will become relatively short compared to the first ones because. At the time, we were planning a bunch of changes. True. Now I'm here, and everything's going well, so... And nobody's arguing about anything. Somebody says something like, we should do this, and everyone's like, hmm, yeah. It was <laughs> a new Numenor. Then it ends. Yeah, Eudora's trying to be controversial with everything now. I, I like it. Mm-hmm. His strongest argument. That seems silly. Numenor has poisoned his mind. I haven't done anything, Brelskis. Yeah, bro through the model number these days, eh? Numenor so never good. says Broskis. <laughs> Clearly he's up to something. It almost sounded like you said Girlskis. Uh, Girlskis? Girl Scout cookies? No, I said people kind, people. <laughs> okay, Justin Trudeau. <laughs> 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 Wait, Fizbo posted? Fizbo? What is he doing here? Welcome I drew Fizbo out with my awesome guide. Welcome back, Fizbo, if you're watching the stream. Isn't Fizbo the original builder guy? 
He, well, he had the, because on the Commander when he's short, they put a bunch of, like, unofficial titles. Like, Divinity is kind of a similar thing, because technically, Deutschland is not Seeker Deutschland. Like, it's not, like, an official title. It's like a literary Sad title. <laughs> Sadly, I am watching. He is watching! Fizbo, thank you for tuning in. <laughs> Sadly, <laughs> feels bad. Sadly, much it's a terrible stream. Wish I'd closed it. <laughs> How rude. Anyway, I think uh, we'll probably go ahead and uh, call it, unless anybody has a last shout out. Um, before we go, game night. Game night is Saturday. Be there. Eight Eastern. What's the game? What's the game for this? Uh, planning on a a compendium of IO games. So like Agario, shit like that, and we'll just have like our own private servers and shit. And we'll play them. We'll have little, little competitions. I have a request, uh, Neopets. No. Oh my god. Um, <laughs> shout out to Mablung, he asked for one, so I'm gonna hit him up with that. There you go. No, do not the satisfy boy. his need. Please. He blackmailed you. <laughs> it's pretty funny, uh, I was going through my credit reports, and it says that my credit may be, uh, potentially affected by identity theft due to Neopets and, like, one other thing, because it, they had, like, a data breach, like, ten years ago. <laughs> so, I was just like, Lulz. Why is your credit card on Neopets? It's not. It's my uh, emails that are linked to me. Did Neopets so become pay to win? I don't remember that. <laughs> it probably is it's now. This boycott. It's the emails that are linked to like my social security stuff. So like, you know, the credit report knows like which emails you use for certain things. If you register for like um, driver's license and stuff like that. So. Cool. Cool. Well, Never not played. cool, actually. <laughs> I'm gonna be honest. Cool. I like, I like listened to about eighty percent of that, and then the last twenty seconds, I like was reading Meat Hall, and I used the typical response of "cool, cool," but actually, the possibility of identity theft <laughs> is not cool, cool. So, yes. You ever? I don't know. Uh... I laughed pretty hard, so. <laughs> you, you I, I gambled ever... and I lost. I thought the cool, cool response would work, but it was actually not the correct response. <laughs> Okay. Well, I think we'll go ahead and call it till next Thursday at 8 Eastern. Next Fireside Chat. So thank you guys for tuning in. Thank you guys for showing up, contributing. We'll see you next week.